Hi, my name is Jason Westlake. This video is entitled Endearing Short Love Poems. Now to write something endearing for your partner means that to her, she needs to feel understood, loved, uh, and appreciated. And that's not according to you. You may think that you love her, that you understand her, that you appreciate her, but if she doesn't feel that way, then it, then it just doesn't work. So to make her feel that way, to write a poem like that, the first thing you need to do is have the intention to understand her and to love her. But the second thing is you have to get rid of any judgments. You, you, can't, you can't understand her and judge her at the same time. You can't have any expectations of how she needs to be. You have to let her show up how she is. And you can't have her want to be any certain way. You just have to try to understand her as she is. Third thing is to pay attention to her feelings. If you pay attention to her feelings and just vocalize or verbalize that, then you'll be well on your way there to understanding her. And if that's all you do and you just write the words, it doesn't matter what you write. As long as you have the intention to understand her, you'll be well on your way to writing an endearing um, love, short love poem for your wife or for your spouse. Uh, I wrote a po short poem called, and this is for my wife, and it's called Feeling You, uh, just based upon um, what I feel and my wife wants. Uh, so here we go. Yes, a family will create. Yes, some land will own. Yes, I can take care of things. Yes, I can handle the challenge. A home and a space will craft. A refuge of love for our children. A garden of veggies will grow. A marriage of union will create. Now, I'm doing the best that I can to understand my wife, and I, I think that she thinks that I understand her, but it's an ongoing process every day. Um, one of the things I love to do is write short love poems and, and other inspiring things. If you like this, I have more on my website at uh, Jason, uh, sorry, at whisperingsoflife.com. Thank you for listening.